Okay, now, I would be remiss today if I did not discuss one of the great issues of our time. And that is that the actress Ellen Page, who is, was, and shall remain a woman, is now a man. So there was celebration yesterday. Confetti was thrown, champagne was poured, tears of joy were wept when the actress Ellen Page revealed that she is a man named Elliot. Yes, apparently it seems Ellen Page, who has been a woman for 33 years of life, is actually a man. Ben Shapiro is a conservative commentator who is famous for his strong opinions. He quickly shared his views on a very popular topic today, Elliot Page's incredible journey. Many people remember him as Ellen Page, a talented actor who has created great characters in memorable films like Juno and the beloved series. The Umbrella Academy. However, in the year 2020, Page's life took a big turn. When he courageously came out as transgender, many celebrated this moment, seeing it as a powerful step towards his own liberation. But this event also brought different responses. Some celebrities and commentators started discussions, expressed critiques, and even exchanged some strong words about Page's transition. Now, actress Ellen Page announced that she is gay on Friday night at a human rights campaign event. Take a look at this video. Because loving other people starts with loving ourselves and accepting ourselves. And I know many of you have struggled with this. And I draw upon your strength and your support in ways that you will never know. What makes Elliot Page's story so fascinating is the cultural reaction surrounding it. In a world where more people are becoming vocal about identity, Page's transition wasn't just about self-discovery. It triggered Hollywood voices and stirred both support and skepticism. This debate goes beyond Page himself. It reflects the clash between traditional values and the ever-evolving landscape of identity and expression in the public eye. Because a lot of people who go into prison go into prison straight and when they come out they're gay so did something happen while they were in there so let us unfold this incredible journey and see how page has become both a symbol of courage and a figure of controversy if you feel excited to explore this topic don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing stories now let's begin in december 2020 page made news all over the world by announcing he is a transgender man he chose the name Elliot and expressed his preference for the pronouns he and him. For countless fans, this moment was full of honor and admiration. Okay, we're There's no debate to trans people's existence. Full stop. It's not a debate. We're real. To debate our existence continuously over and over again, I think it's appalling. Here was a well-known actor, beloved by many, sharing something very personal with the world. Page's transition was met with a wave of support from friends in Hollywood and fans who saw this as a wonderful act of self-acceptance. It was a significant moment that highlighted the importance of authenticity. What, what we can. And the other issue too is we have such little representation in the media. Yeah. And we don't learn about LGBTQ history in schools. And, and these are the things that we need. Because you know what it's like, Ellen. I do. You know what it's like to grow up and internalize homophobia and like live with that shame and how much that poisons you. But it is important to note that Paige's announcement did not come without some criticism. As with many celebrities in the spotlight, some felt that this was more than just a personal journey. It was a public statement that challenged conventional ideas. Many, many activists who've created a world and a society where I can be out and live my life. And that's something to not take for granted. Um, so I feel very, very fortunate. Yes. I I think uh, you strike me as very humble and very honored, which is why I think you should blow everybody's mind and make a real dickhead speech. Yeah, I'm just I think <laughs> I think you should take the mic and say, "A lot of you said I could never do this," <laughs> and then I'd just find someone in the front row you've never met and just go, "You know who you are," and just look at them. Critics argued that Paige's transition was being placed on a pedestal, sparking debates about whether celebrity influence should push people towards such sensitive topics. These voices raised questions about the broader impact of Paige's journey on young fans and on the public's understanding of gender identity. Paige himself described the decision as a way to fully embrace who he always knew he was, despite the potential backlash. His coming out wasn't just about fame or publicity, it was about being authentic. 
But Hollywood is rarely so simple. In the weeks that followed, a range of opinions emerged, making this a multifaceted discussion that highlighted the complexities of identity in a world where everyone has an opinion. I saw you uh, at the uh, at Guy's party after the Oscars, and we spoke yeah. for a little while, and I was congratulating you because I am so proud of you for coming out, and I am happy for you. I know what a scary thing that is. Your speech was incredible. I just thought it was the most brilliantly written speech. I want to Hollywood is known for its progressive values, but Elliot's transition was met with a mixture of reactions even within this circle. Many celebrities, such as colleagues and co-stars, offered their congratulations and publicly supported Paige's announcement. Social media posts poured in with positive messages and sentiments that encouraged Elliot and praised his courage. It was as if the entertainment industry stood behind him, welcoming his true self with open arms. It's the little, it's, you know, Getting out of the shower and the towels around your waist and you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're just like, there I am. Yet there were also subtle hints of discomfort in certain corners of Hollywood. While few celebrities openly criticized Paige, some voices hinted at the impact of his decision on others. To some, it seemed like this move was part of a larger woke movement, one that prioritized individual choices over society's traditional views. Elliot Page is opening up about his quote, tears of joy after coming out as trans. These voices raised the question, is there a line between personal expression and societal norms? The entertainment industry is built on self-expression and creativity, but for some, Paige's announcement felt like a step beyond the usual boundaries. They argued that the media's embrace of Paige could have unforeseen effects, especially on younger fans who look up to Hollywood stars as role models. This debate added another layer to the conversation as Hollywood insiders wrestled with the broad or implications of Paige's story. Because he said something about Ellen Page. Yeah. Uh, Elliot Page. Yeah. Called her Ellen Page. Like, I think... I think that was the number one thing, yeah. the, the dead naming. Yeah. The media certainly plays a powerful role in shaping how we see the world, and Elliot Page's experience was no exception. From major news outlets to popular celebrity magazines, the coverage of Page's transition was extensive, showcasing his journey as a remarkable personal accomplishment and a significant cultural change. Do you have thoughts or opinions about uh, and it doesn't have to be judging, um, just wondering your opinions on the responsibility of being somebody in the spotlight. Let's just say a famous person that blankets that, um, who doesn't feel that they need to come out. Obviously for safety reasons, That's we're not talking about that. Do you think there's a sense of responsibility? I sensed there was for myself. Headlines praised Page's courage, positioning him as a pioneer for trans visibility. In many ways, the media helped shape a positive narrative around his story, encouraging acceptance and understanding. However, there was also criticism of how the media handled this coverage. Some argued that the story leaned too heavily on the idea of a woke agenda, suggesting that the media was pushing a specific narrative by focusing on Page's identity rather than his acting achievements. Some critics felt that the media was crossing into territory that seemed more promotional than informative. I believe that's what I needed to be and it took me time to get to where I needed to be to come out. So I do see it as a journey, but for me, a part of a coming out, a part of using my platform very much relates to um, what I do feel is a responsibility. They question whether this emphasis was truly about acceptance or about promoting a trend. In navigating these stories, audiences found themselves caught between admiration and skepticism. Was this media support a genuine effort to increase awareness, or was it part of a larger agenda that promotes identity over individuality? These questions lingered, making the role of media in Paige's story both supportive and controversial. And and what is the, what's the reaction? Like, after you did uh, the interview with Steven, um, I know that you have gotten a lot of praise and I texted you and I'm sure you got lots of texts from a lot of people for, for saying how brave you are and how important it is, but you've gotten criticized for this. 
Yeah, naturally. <laughs> Public response to Paige's transition was similarly split. Fans worldwide took to social media to express their support, flooding his posts with positive comments and admiration. This was more than a reaction to a celebrity announcement, it was a celebration of authenticity. For many, Paige's courage served as an inspiration, proof that it's never too late to embrace one's true identity. Absolutely, you know, it's hard, because the story is obviously so sad and a, and a, a true story, I want to preface with what I'm about to say with that, but... It was very, very special to have come out to be playing um, a gay person, someone who I admire so much, who did something so crucial and important and in a time of unimaginable difficulty. Supporters saw this moment as a beacon of hope for those struggling with their own identity. On the other hand, there was a noticeable group who questioned the motives and impact of this announcement. Critics argued that the media coverage and public celebrations were pushing the woke agenda too far, particularly because of Paige's influence on younger audiences. This group wasn't necessarily against Paige personally, but raised concerns about how such stories could influence those still forming their own identities. To them, the spotlight on Paige's transition seemed to make a statement about gender identity that felt, to them, overly simplified. The result was a polarized public, divided between admiration and caution. In the end, Paige's journey highlighted how public perception can vary, especially on such personal matters. While the support was widespread, the voices of concern showed that, for many, this was a subject too complex to take at face value. Alrighty, so. Men's Health. You know, that's a magazine about men and their health. So it makes perfect sense that Elliot Page, who is a woman who believes that she is a man and then had some surgeries to remove her breasts, uh, has now been featured by Men's Health. Ben Shapiro, a commentator well known for his firm and often loud opinions, did not hesitate to share his views about Page's announcement. He expressed that although he respected Page's choice to change his name, he found it hard to accept the notion that one could simply change their gender just by saying so. Hashtag trans joy. Yeah, there's nothing that says joy quite like cutting off parts of yourself and taking heavy doses of hormones and then possibly having a fake penis strapped to you. For Shapiro, such a shift seemed to lack the deeper significance it deserves and sparked a larger discussion on identity. For Shapiro, names are fluid, but biological gender is a fact that can't be altered through self-identification alone. He argued that expecting society to instantly accept such changes doesn't align with reality. Shapiro's comments sparked a wave of reactions, both supportive and critical. Supporters appreciated his directness, feeling that he was standing up for traditional views. On the other hand, critics felt that his comments were dismissive and undermined Page's personal journey. This critique further divided the public, with some seeing it as a necessary counterpoint, and others viewing it as insensitive. Now listen, Ellen Page can identify however she wants, I don't care. L really, it makes no difference to me. She is an adult human. She can do whatever she wants. It is a free country. However, it being a free country, I am also free to point out that Ellen Page is, was, and shall remain a woman. Because Ellen Page is in fact a woman. Whether people agreed with Shapiro or not, his comments added a new angle to the discussion. By questioning the idea of identity based on declaration, Shapiro highlighted the key debate around Page's story, one that grapples with the balance between personal freedom and societal norms. Conservative commentator Michael Knowles examined Page's transition from a psychological viewpoint, employing a striking analogy to provoke thought. The big delusional ideology that is being pushed right now by the liberal establishment, it's not just by the blue-haired radicals on the crazy college campus in the middle of nowhere, this is an ideology being pushed by the biggest corporations, the biggest tech platforms, and, and the government itself transgenderism. He likened gender dysphoria to conditions such as anorexia, where an individual's self-image starkly contrasts with their actual state. Nodals put forth the argument that just as society would never encourage someone suffering from anorexia to accept their situation, it should not automatically endorse every aspect of gender dysphoria. This analogy ignited a wave of controversy, as many believed it oversimplified the intricate nature of gender identity. And this is everyone celebrating this sort of thing. The actress Ellen Page, uh, who is now calling herself Elliot. But, I, you know, I think I'm going to stop doing this. I think I'm going to stop indulging in the name changes. Because we, for a long time, have said that we're not going to indulge in the 
pronouns because I'm not going to call her him. You can't force me to lie. Supporters of Noel's perspective felt that his comparison was a wake-up call, prompting people to consider the potential harm in unconditionally embracing every self-perception. The debate revolves around the idea that identity issues require careful consideration, particularly in a culture that tends to celebrate individuality without boundaries. Critics of Noel's comparison found it to be rather problematic, viewing it a misconception of gender dysphoria and an oversimplified representation of Page's personal experience. I think I'm going to have to go with Ellen Page. So Ellen Page posts this photo of herself topless. This photo would not be permitted for if any other woman did it, but because Ellen Page is pretending to be a man, she gets to post this picture. And she looks much more like a boy. She's had breast mutilation. She's got some abs now. I don't know if that was surgical or if that's uh, you know, from lifting weights or something like that. By introducing this analogy, Knowles brought a new layer to the conversation. It opened up questions about the responsibilities society holds when addressing complex identity issues and raised the possibility that support should be balanced with careful consideration. Jordan Peterson, a psychologist and professor, expressed significant concerns about the media's portrayal of Elliot Page's transition, particularly his decision to publicly showcase his experience through magazine covers. When the pronoun bill came out, I knew that for every trans kid that was hypothetically saved, we would doom a hundred confused adolescent females. Peterson believes this visibility carries implications that could sway impressionable youth, potentially leading to what he describes as cytogenic epidemic, especially among adolescents grappling with identity confusion. He argues that society's role should focus on providing stability rather than contributing to potential confusion over sensitive issues of gender and identity. Not everything legal isn't criminal. And do they have that right? See, I would have left Ellen Page alone if she hadn't been parading her new abs in a fashion magazine. How many kids do you think she can convince to convert? A one? Yeah, thousand? No, not See, yeah. Critics of Peterson's perspective argue that he unfairly places the responsibility of societal shifts on individuals like Page and that increased visibility can foster understanding. They contend that restricting representation could hinder essential conversations about acceptance and diversity. While Peterson's stance has sparked considerable debate, it raises fundamental questions about the influence of celebrities on societal perceptions of identity and who should be held accountable for that impact. Jordan Peterson is a obsessed with talk about other people's genitals and private parts. And in this case, he is for some reason focusing on actor Elliot Page, who is a trans actor who had a double mastectomy last year after coming out as trans. And uh, you know what I call that uh, update on Elliot Page's life? Nice. Uh, the discussion surrounding Elliot Page's transition has also permeated the medical community, where opinions diverge sharply on the benefits and risks associated with gender transitioning. Dr. Paul McHugh, a former psychiatrist in chief at Johns Hopkins University, has been a prominent voice, arguing that gender reassignment surgeries do not significantly enhance mental health outcomes and may even introduce implications. His viewpoint is echoed by various conservative comments commentators who emphasize caution about the long-term efficacy of such procedures, especially for younger individuals. That I'll be able to um, give some sort of sense of uh, at least where I am in this subject and uh, what I think is uh, developing uh, in relationship to a, an issue that I think is both uh, is a, a, a mental disorder, but as well as a fundamentally a social craze right now. It's expanding like a craze. Conversely, many medical experts advocate for gender-affirming care, asserting that such interventions can provide significant psychological relief for transgender individuals. They stress the importance of thorough, individualized assessments, arguing that transitioning can be crucial for self-acceptance and emotional well-being. The intensified dialogue around Page's visibility highlights the ongoing complexities in the medical field regarding identity, care, and the nuanced considerations that accompany personal transitions. It's masculine and feminine. That's the words. We don't have, we have a men's room 
and a women's room. We have a men's basketball team and a women's basketball team here at Hopkins. We don't have a masculine room and a feminine room. Elliot Page's declaration of identifying as a queer man has sparked confusion among some audiences, particularly considering his previous identification as a lesbian woman. This shift raises questions about the fluidity and boundaries of identity labels in the leb spectrum, with commentators like Ben Shapiro arguing that such complexities reflect broader issues in language surrounding gender and sexuality. Shapiro suggests that the evolving nature of terms like queer complicates societal understanding of identity, as many struggle to keep pace with these changes. What does she mean by that? With all these people announcing that they're really a gender other than the one that they were, quote, assigned at birth, the crazy thing is that nobody ever stops to ask the simplest, most basic question. What do you mean? What do you mean? That's a fair question, isn't it? That's a, it's not a transphobic question. Supporters of Page contend that fluid identity labels allow for a richer expression of personal experiences and provide flexibility in self-identification. This clash showcases the ongoing discourse surrounding identity labels. Some individuals perceive them as empowering tools for self-expression, while others argue that they complicate the already convoluted realms of gender and sexuality. This dialogue highlights the broader societal struggle between seeking clarity and embracing the rich diversity of individual identities. Deliot Page's journey serves as a lens through which society examines evolving concepts of identity, acceptance and individuality. Beyond his personal transition, Page's story represents a significant clash between traditional and modern views on gender and self-expression. While many fans and segments of Hollywood have rallied in support, the accompanying criticisms reveal an underlying resistance to change, particularly concerning identity. The debates triggered by Page's transition focusing on media influence, medical ethics, and identity labels underscore the complexities faced by individuals navigating personal decisions in the public eye. As society continues to grapple with these themes, the conversations surrounding Page's story resonate with larger questions about the balance between representation, acceptance, and the multifaceted nature of of identity.